Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we've got another scroll box video here today. This just got delivered this morning. It's a nice sunny day, so let's crack it open and see what's inside. Okay, so let's start with the feature artist of the month with Tasharina Rina. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she's a doodle dreamer from Russia. Oh no, IT girl, yeah, yeah. Um, you can check her Instagram down there, which I'll be sure to follow. And yeah, this illustration is really beautiful actually. Just these f um, simple feather doodles, but it looks like a, a watercolour overlay to it. So hopefully we'll be doing something with watercolours. Um, some paper, oh yeah, this is definitely cold pressed watercolour paper. So hopefully it's watercolours. Time to open this up. You don't want to look at the sheet so first. Got a sweetie. Um, okay, not what I was expecting. I thought these, okay. To start with, this looks like a rubber end. So we put on the end of the pencil to make it a rubber. We got, oh, we got a new sticker as well. We got one of her own stickers, which is pretty nice. Along with the scroll box sticker, which has the watercolor effect on it. So. We have these pens, let me just check, yeah, so we have four of these, we have four of these carving pens in purple, what I assume is either grey or black, green and yellow, and these are brush markers, oh hello, that's, that's pretty cool, I like that actually, and hopefully this looks like a water based ink, let me just check. Use for calligraphy, graphic design, illustration. Yeah, I think this is going to be a water-based ink, so that'll be cool. Next, we have. Don't know what this is actually. Oh, okay, it's a brush pen of some kind. Has it got water already in it, or ink, or what? Hmm, that's interesting. Normally, with brush, water brush pens, they don't have like a color on it, so it's just a regular brush. Like you fill it up with water. So, oh, here we go. Spectrum Noir, if you can see that. Spectrum Noir Aqua Tint. Aqua Tint. Okay. We have two of these Karen Dash Fibarello pens. And Karen Dash is a watercolour brand, which is quite popular actually and really good quality. I didn't know they make pens though. So hopefully we can do some of that. And finally we have this art line, so not just a regular liner, point three liner. And finally, to end it, we've got another Caradash art supply. There you go, Caradash. Um, this just looks like a regular graphite pencil, HB. So yeah, let's just go through the list. So to start with, yeah, we got these brush marker pens um, that use liquid ink. Um, yeah, you can create washes and whatever using water, I guess. The Caradash fiber pens, um, yep, transform contact with water to create surprise effects. The aqua tin pen is filled with bright water soluble dye based ink. So it is basically a water brush pen but with ink already in it, which is kind of cool. The drawing pen, yep, the liner. The regular HP pencil. The, oh, the, I forgot about that, yeah, the pen, pencil cap eraser. And finally, um, 300 GSM watercolor paper or botanical ultra smooth paper. And the challenge for this month is plumage.